Welcome back to my series on every year of black metal. It's been a long time since the last one, but we're back with 1993. And holy fuck my nuts. This is ridiculous. This year is stupid. This year is goddamn stupid. Yeah, there's so many good releases in 93. It's hard to narrow down just my favourites, so I'm just going to fucking... I'm going to do loads on this list. This is going to be loads of albums on this list because there's so many good ones. But before I do and dive in with my favourites, let me know down below your favourite black metal albums of 1993. It is a tough one, but let's power through and let's get started. So, yeah, um, Burzum released an album this year, uh, Det Som Engang Var, so goddamn good. So goddamn good. I love the debut. I, I, I love the debut. I love the ones to follow this album as well. Maybe even a bit more, but this one is just so catchy. The songs in it, interesting. Riffs, great. His vocals, just as good as ever. Good old Kant Grishnak. It's, it's one of the... It's one of the best albums of this year. Keys to the Gate, come on. So goddamn good. Lost Wisdom as well, fantastic song. It's a short album, but it's short and packs a mammoth punch. So yeah, gotta talk about Detsom Anging Var and that classic artwork. Even has the little uh, debut in the actual artwork for this one as well. If you look close, if you squint hard enough, it's the great album. Gotta mention it. There's also Pure Holocaust by um, Immortal this year as well. Talk about, like, mammoth releases. You all know Immortal. You know Abaf and his kind of froggy croaks. And this is one of the better albums of the band. I love the first two. So goddamn good. Diabolical's probably my favourite Immortal album. This one's very close. This one is very close. Great catchy songs. Furious riffing. Cool vocals that you come to expect. It's just... Fantastic black metal and um, Immortals, it's Immortal, it's a household name, you all know them, you all love them, or well, you should love them, and this album's just one of the best they've done, so fuck yeah, I'm talking about it. Next up, Rotting Christ with Thy Mighty Contract. Yes, this one is just the best Rotting Christ album. It has the most evil atmosphere while still retaining that kind of classic Hellenic sound, interesting melodies, interesting riffs, sack is, sack is, Sounds sounds weird saying Saki's Tolly's vocals so interesting, unique. One of the best black metal vocalists around. Love this album. Love it so much. I got a shirt. Fucking adore this album, and I wish to hear it live in full. That'd be fantastic. He's one of my favorite black metal albums, and it's from this year. Speaking of Hellenic black metal, two other fucking bands came out this year. Varifron and Necromantia with two fantastic albums, Crossing the Fiery Path. Holy shit. What a interesting album. What a very unique and interesting album. Um, I do prefer the um, Scarlet Evil Witching Black hour, whatever the hell it's called. You know the one I mean, the fiery one. But this one's just as good. More unique than the um, than the other one. Still just as fun as hell. And Varifon's His Majesty at the Swamp is just such a different sounding album. It's a bit more murky, more evil sounding than the other ones I was talking about. Less theatrical than Necromantia's. Probably less heavy than Rotting Christ, but way more like kind of doomy in parts. It does feel like you're like trudging through a swamp when listening to this album. Great band and great album. Underrated. If you like Rotting Christ, you'll probably like these two bands as well, so go give them all a listen. Those of the Unlike came out this year as well, and I love Marduk, and this may be the most underrated Marduk album. Everyone talks about Opus Nocturne, people talk about Panzer Division Marduk. Does anyone talk about Those of the Unlike? I think it's just as good. It may be even slightly better than some of them. I adore this album. The melodies, the vocals are so furious as well. The, even the artwork, the four riders in black. <sighs> Ominous, great, crazy, fucking love it. You got some more interesting ones now. Sigh with Scorn Defeat. What an interesting band as well. Japanese black metal. Crazy ass fucking vocals. Great art as well. They always do good art. You know, you can always um, rely on Sigh. You can rely on Sigh to do good art. And this is one of the best Sigh albums. Furious, Insanity, and if you don't know it, then go check it out right now. Pause, pause this video right now and go check out Psy, Scorn, Defeat. You'll thank me for it. The fucking Somberlane came out this year. The fucking Somberlane. 
just as good as um, the. I, I can see the album cover in my head. Storm of the Lights Bane. That's it. I was like the Rider guy in the snow. Yeah, just as good as Storm of the Lights Bane, if not better in some parts. Melodies out the ass. Probably the best melodic black metal band. I do like Old Man's Child though, but Dissection very fucking close. Love pretty much all the works, even Rykonos, which I can't pronounce shit. I should just stop trying to say words. But yeah, Sombalane is just melodic black metal at its fucking finest. At its fucking finest. There's a couple of other interesting ones, like Never Again by Belial, which I think is quite underrated and really fun as well. That's a great album. Hordain's Land by Enslave came out this year, which was just monumental. Drawing Down a Moon by Beherit, such a weird, avant-garde kind of black metal, which took me a while to get into. This actually, I listened to it and I was like, what the fuck am I listening to? This is so weird. But then I eventually got into it and now I'm an avid lover of Beherit and this album is just a masterpiece. Uh, so give it time if it's not quite registering with you straight away. It will. It fucking will. And also Live in Leipzig came out this year. Dead on vocals? Hell fucking Yes. Hell fucking yes, one of the best live albums ever. And last but not least, there's one by Abruptum, which I can't fucking say. Obscuritatum Advoco Amplicum. Fuck it, that one. The one I'll show on screen now. That's another fantastic release from this year. I'm rushing through them because there's too many good ones. I probably missed off a hundred more, but those are the ones that pop into my mind when someone says 1993. What a beautiful year for black metal. You listen to all them and that'll be you set for a long fucking time. Masterpieces of albums this year. Fucking love all of them. Great bands and they'll continue to release more and more good music for the years to come. And we'll be with them to talk about it on each year. Next year's 94, just as goddamn crazy. It, my, my, my brain's gonna melt out my fucking ears. Love this year in black metal. Hopefully you do too. So let me know down below your favourites from this year and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.